This is 2 News at 10. We always hear a lot about protecting yourself online, hiding your PIN number, not giving anybody your password, but identity theft could simply be a photocopy away. Fields Mosley joining us right now with more Fields, copy machines? <laughs> yeah, copy machines. This is a conversation that's been going on for quite some time within the copy industry. Then CBS did an investigation, showed everybody that these copy machines, they have a hard drive inside, just like your home computer, and they save an image of every fax and every printout and every copy that is made. Not a problem if the machine is sitting here, but it won't sit here forever. Eventually, it'll be taken away, perhaps recycled or resold to somebody, and we don't know who. It's a problem if that hard drive isn't erased. The copy machine is a revolutionary device that continues to evolve. But we keep using them as we always have. We take our birth certificates, driver's license, social security cards, immunization records, and tax forms. And we put them on the screen and push the button. These are not just copy machines. These are actually very sophisticated computers that do imaging also. Meaning the copier in your office is connected to your computers with wires and inside there is a hard drive where it can store settings and information. We might find as many as 20,000 documents on it. Nearly every copier since 2002 has a hard drive. The problem is companies don't keep those copiers forever. I get equipment in all day, every single day. And many are recycled to one of 25 warehouses like this around the country where they are resold. We're worried about the financial information of people, uh, their identity, um, the trade secrets of a company. Ed McLaughlin is the president of Sharp Imaging, and he was in Utah to speak with clients about security. Sharp commissioned a survey in 2008 to find out how many people know there is a risk. The 60 percent of people, for the most part, are unaware. What's more alarming is nearly the same number of IT managers are unaware that there's hard drives in these devices. Earlier this year, CBS went to a warehouse on the East Coast filled with used copy machines and bought three of them Come for a few back. thousand dollars. They had John Jatunin from a company called Digital Copier Security remove the hard drives. And in less than a day, he accessed tens of thousands of documents using free software. This machine came from the city of Buffalo, New York. Police. Sex, sex, crimes. sex crimes division. They found lists of sex offenders and targets of a major drug ring. On another drive, there were 40,000 company checks and 95,000 pay stubs with social security numbers. They even found 300 pages of medical records in the third machine, possibly violating federal privacy laws. When sold, many of those used copiers, still holding the data, are shipped overseas. We know that the potential is there. We can't tell you whether it has happened or that has not happened. McLaughlin thinks the copier industry needs to include real security. Sharp offers an option which scrubs the hard drive after every image, but it costs $500. There are standard security kits on some other devices. Uh, frankly, they really won't do the job. Sharp may make its technology standard in the future, but even as they solve one threat, there may be another. The copiers are usually on the computer network, and may provide easy access to hackers. This affects companies in ways that they probably hadn't thought about before. And McLaughlin, he sees this problem with the hard drive easily overcome. You can secure the hard drive, of course, as he was talking about, or it can be removed once the copier is removed from a company. Now, the access to the network, though, he sees that as the next big problem for IT people at companies all over the place and for copier companies because this is on the computer network here in this newsroom and at companies all over the world. Mark, back to you. You know, you never realize it's making a copy for you, but it's also making a copy for the hard drive. I never realized all that information was staying in the machine. And I think a lot of us who just use it for copies or just use it as a printer don't realize this can create a PDF file. It can do all sorts of other right. things because it's connected to all these different computers. Now we know. We can be care yeah. more, more careful. All right, Fields, thank you very much.